morning we're going to be tying one of British Columbia's uh, most popular chronomid pattern. This one's called the Chromie. Uh, we're going to start off with the 2457. We've got a bead already on there. I've made my thread wrap. I'm just using a standard 6 aught uh, black uni thread. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is tie in the gill segments here. This is Sparkle Emerger yarn in white. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my bead up. That's just over the top. That's not on one side or another. Uh, yeah, just, just yeah. right over the top there. Okay. I'll snip my gills down just a little bit to even them out. We don't need a whole lot going on there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in a length of um, flat Magnum Flashaboo in silver. We're going to run that down the shank. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a piece of red um, brassy sized ultra wire down the shank. Again, you know, we put that in there kind of on top of each other and laminate that stuff just a little bit so that we don't uh, have a huge amount of tie in bulk on a pattern that's supposed to be relatively skinny. Uh, so at this point in time, we're going to take the flashaboo. Wrap that forward. These are real simple, simple patterns to tie. And this is going to fish everywhere for a crown of it. I mean, Cascade uh, Lakes, BC. Yep. Uh, Holloway brothers and I have been out on crane before and just you know but butchered them uh, with this pattern so now we're gonna wrap that red forward if you were to look at a picture of a chronomid most of the time what you'll see is kind of this silvery uh, looking bug and the reason for that is that the, that air gets trapped underneath that shuck and then uh, kind of makes a, a reflection in there and so you get this real silvery looking deal with either a red or a black stripe uh, and thus was born the, the chromie and chromer. Build up a little bit of a head here, set our bead just a tiny bit. So to finish that off and make it a little bit more durable we're going to use some clear cure goo in the hydro form. If you wanted to have a, a more translucent or more, you'd just increase the amount of the, the stuff that you're using. I'll keep it moving for just a second here. Whack it with the light. There you have a completed uh, chrome mead. It's one of my favorite chronomid patterns. I hope it's one of yours too.